All right, part three, here we are. Finally finished the case, except for the uh, hole for the camera, because I don't really need that if I can't show it to you on my only camera, which I'm recording with right now. So, that's, uh, did that without a needle. Just some leftover thread I found. Um, it's all formed around, I got the, uh, Got my charger sewn in there, so it's won't fall out of my phone anymore. Um, so yeah, later today I'm going to head. Let's see, you know, wake up a little bit and the sun finishes coming up. Um, I'm gonna head down to Nashville, go hang out with the dirty kids, and uh, I got a a couple people have already actually donated some money and tools for me to money for me to go buy tools for the the camp so uh i'm writing up a list of things that are needed still if you're around nashville or if you feel like donating and helping us get some tools for these guys to start building their own little community um i got the whole list right here i'm gonna just read them off if you get bored easily go ahead and leave now um, so I still need leather snips, any kind of scissors that are capable of cutting leather. It is actually kind of harder than you might expect if you've never cut leather. Um, large eye blunt tipped sewing needles make sewing so much easier with leather. Um, more thread or sinew or dental floss works great too. It lasts a really long time for as thread. Uh, leather punches for holes such as something like this and then also the kind that you would you know looks like a pen and smack it with a hammer um, those are punches for holes and then also they make a hundred different designs of stamps that work the same way you just hit it with a hammer and uh, you can make really pretty designs in leather that way I'd love to teach some of those guys how to do that because that looks really cool, especially around camp. Um, all kinds of hammers and wooden and rubber mallets, pliers, needle nose, uh, flat without the little ridges are great for jewelry as well. Small portable vise and a bigger vise or an anvil would help a lot. Uh, jeweler's saw and as many jeweler's saw blades as possible. Carving knife. Metal files, needle files, uh, and bigger ones too. Sandpaper, hacksaw, side cutters, a ring mandrel for ring sizing. And if these guys are acting like they like chain mail, uh, I'm planning on making them a little chain mail making crank um, so you can end up making stuff like that uh, and some flush cutters to make that process easier otherwise you gotta use a jeweler's saw which takes forever but yeah if you guys are you know there's if you see this and there's anything that you want to know about making junkyard jewelry ask me and I'll probably make a video about it peace out and keep the positivity going